Stay on target. We're going through one last great warp portal after the general. <laughs> Away! <laughs> and we are alone. Let's see these here. Hi. I hate my foxes alone. Because for some reason he thought it, thought it was a, dump, a good idea to just go by himself. Even though he could really use the help of his teammates. Fox, do you copy? What was that Pepper, about being how alone? are you alive? General, mind explaining what's going on? <laughs> yes, well, seriously. Fox, it's a long story. I I'd <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I hope you brought your popcorn with you, Fox. I'm sorry, that just reminds me of... It's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? <laughs> we'll get to that later. <laughs> So yeah, so in this game, they kind of the try to flesh out the whole betrayal thing in that this is all about teleportation technology. I mean, that's some pretty impressive technology, so I can see why Andros was so obsessed with it. But now Andros is back. So yeah, he, Andros is like trying to attack us from that alternate dimension, and it's believed, hinted at in this even, that James as actually isn't even dead. He's just trapped there forever. Which is essentially a page they took from the very original Star Fox canon. Which I'm cool with that. I, I like that. It, the whole ghost thing in 64 was, you know... Oh, it, oh yeah, by the way, yeah. folks, uh, this is Venom. This right here is Venom. This It's not even an actual planet. It's more like a planetoid that... Yeah. It's a, it's a dwarf planet, which uh, Andros, pretty, Andros pretty much uh, carved out into a literal um, vortex machine. So, let's just get up to Andros then. Just gotta take this teleporter up to him. We gotta take out the beam first, otherwise that'll be a problem. So. Of course. <laughs> just just imagine if Foss was the dumb one to just dive right into it. Like, freaking... <laughs> What's also yes, also yes. Star Star Wars people. This is basically our Death Star. Yep. Chicken, go away. Uh, this is the part where I was realizing: should I be going this far? Oh well, I'll, I'll take that. Might as well get a life if I can. But uh, you know again, what, you, this know is my Peppy, blind... you know what Peppy always says: use the boost to get through. Get ourselves. I wish. Laser. Oh, I wish Peppy were here. But I, but I was a dipshit and left him alone back on Corneria. Oh, well, seriously, why did? We all could have fit through if we just went single file. So, again, blind playthrough. This is the part where I'm realizing I shouldn't be doing this. We should be sticking to this portal thing, and we should try and find a way to take down the beam. So, yeah, ow. especially Ooh. considering oh, what hey. you're about to. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, I lost the blue. Rats. Okay, what am I looking for here? I Let's think you're see. supposed to look for a terminal to hack into. Yeah, like one opening. First, got to take out these freaking cannons. Yeah, Let's that'll definitely help me. help because um, on, let's just say we're gonna be here for a little while. Okay. And no, not just because we're looking for that terminal. Then I started looking around. Then I just started shooting everything. So remember, folks, this is a, this is technically a blind playthrough. I never touched this game before, and I'm having played it. I still okay. I, I Celia and I. <laughs> this is the part where Pepper's like, "Oh, for God's sake, do it." Here, let Thank me you, just Pepper. let me just tell you where to find the terminal. Thank you, Pepper. But uh, I was gonna say, yeah, Celia and I have a friend who's a very avid Star Star Fox fan, and <laughs> does not really care much for this game. Ah, uh. he's a uh, he's definitely the sixty four nut. But like, I mean, uh, I, even though this is basically sixty four. Oh. All right, let's go here. I'll take that. Some people are just never satisfied. But I mean, I. I it was unconventional, the fact that it took us this many years, the the two, like, our group, the fact that it took us this many years to figure out how to capture this, for one thing. The beam is weakened. Well, it's not that we didn't know how, well, more so a matter of how to do it without spending a dime. Now then, right. let's go down that, let's see about, go oh, actually, wait, we can't go down that hole yet, we're still gonna, oh, wait, actually, wait, yeah, we can, but of course, Ooh. they won't let us do that. And they're upgraded. Ooh. Oh, they shit. have their own chickens. Experience. Oh boy! You're even dumber than your old man. Which and I, it's us against them. Which I'm completely convinced they took that. Um, they took that. They took the seed straight from that. Um, Okami and Bayonetta to make those things. <laughs> Probably. Well, it's so, the same like, look, like, look at their move. Well, obviously, oh, that, hence, hence why I make the comparison. But yeah, you so, really have to face these four fuckers on your own. Which this is gonna be a long one. Mm-hmm. Now, Don't granted, think I think they... to go alone, Fox? So, granted, I think they also... They, they really severely gave him low HP to account for this, but... And, and honestly, you think that 
honestly, at first I was worried about the whole wolf thing. The wolf thing actually make the, the wolf transformation actually makes them severely like sitting ducks on the ground for you just to fly by and shoot them. <laughs> Somewhat, but once you get, I think once you once you get to like wolf by himself, then it starts becoming a big a massive pain. Yeah, because it's just the one oh, guy you're having to go after. And I still love Star Wolf in this theme. Uh, speaking of which, as of this recording, the direct happened, and let's just say that, well, it's nice to see you can see Wolf, Wolf uh, what he's like outside of uh, the Lilith system. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really into it. Just, and the fact yeah. that, in the fact that, like, uh, much like, much like what he is, he's a fucking savage. Yeah. A very, a very, a very antiquity savage, but a savage nonetheless. All right. But Stay he's not careful. Peppy's got to get not Peppy Pigma. Oh, because you know they can never decide on, decide on his fucking outfit. And Pigma's dead. Bye, not Pigma. Because really, they because they never stay dead. And there goes Uncle. Andrew. There you go. Uncle Andrews. Where's Leon? Leon, take your lumps. I'm not even your real oh, uncle. I'll take that. Is he? Is that really the case? Is he not his uncle? Uh, I just said that for a joke. Yeah, okay. I don't. They never outright said said it. If oh, they never outright specified the legitimacy of his claim. Ah, shoot. Hang on. F screw, forget you, Wolf. I'm going after Leon. You know, I get Where'd the feeling go? that it's like oh, like Andros is completely unaware that Andrew's doing that, and Andrew just keeps bragging about it just for the sake there of making himself look cooler. It's there like, now, Res oh, to I'm totally his like nephew. <laughs> Oh, jeez. So, yeah, now all we have left is Wolf. And he has the most health out of the bunch. Go figure, because he's the leader. Oh, jeez. Now the thing about it, okay. um... No. Oh, jeez, he's going... Now, now he's going to be taking us through the laser fields. Well, at the very can least, they're we... deactivated. Can it, not any all of, of them. the Star Wolf crew pick up those rings? No. Fortunately not. Okay, got to stay on target. Where is he? Keep up, okay. And this isn't very entertaining. Let's swap. There we go. All I'm curious now, Ooh. though, all I'm curious to see now is, like, whether it's just going to be Wolf or if they'll actually have the entire Star Wolf team for um, Starlink. Oh, no. All they've they mentioned, they mentioned is Wolf. Impossible. There we go. Well, I think that they just did that for the tease and that they probably will have at least one or two others. I'm guessing at least Leon and Pigma. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like they're sticking to the, the Zero continuity, and we did it. Yeah. Now we can go through the portal. How are you doing today, Sealy? I'm alright. Tired. Go. I know, me too. It's been a while. Ah, we still got five. So by the way, yeah, can right. you? By the way, the tech here is down. Could you send out an SOS? I really need to get off the space rock. So welcome to the corridor of illusion. I really which... need to take a whiz, Star Fox. Oh, oh geez. So welcome to the corridor of illusion, which um. I learned the hard way, if you go the wrong way, you just kind of warp back to the start, and I, uh, unless you just memorize which path to go, or like me, get severely lucky from this point forward, I... Oh! <gasps> is that is you, it the Yoda? same path every time, or is it randomized? I think it's, it may, it could be the same path every time. James, do you know if there's any trick to know which way you're supposed to go? Eh, uh, fuck if I can remember. I think it might, okay. I, I think okay. those... I think what you're supposed to do is maybe get the clue from your from the gamepad because that's when this is that point in the game. Oh, you're right. I think I think you do. Yeah, because by, by this point they really want you to start using the gamepad to start discerning what's what's um an illusion and what's not. That's right. Oh my gosh, and and I and you start you realize that especially in the final boss coming up. But yeah, whenever he says trust your instincts, he's basically saying look in look through Fox's eyes and you'll be able to see. Which makes you wonder like. like if there, so was ever, I, if there was ever a Switch version of this game, how would they rectify? How would they change that? I don't know. Maybe yeah, like that's maybe the thing you, I was talking maybe, about. Maybe you tap the like, button. Because yeah, again, that's the thing I was talking about. Where it's like some of these, ah. some of these like Wii U games, I would see them having a really hard time porting the Switch because of stuff like that. And James and this James and I, we theorized that because I managed to actually get through this whole game without getting a single game over, that uh, James McCloud will actually give us a reward like that. But the issue is that, as you're going to see... So yeah, also bear in mind, I was not using the gamepad here, so this is all the... <gasps> Daddy! That looks just like mine! Uh, what, hey. Oops! <laughs> James, could you perhaps put that a little bit further ahead of me? Yeah, so really? I didn't just... So that I so we've theorized that use maybe... Your, a reward. Use your brakes, my son. I can't go 
but first. But, but, Dad, he's back. It seems you're determined to see this through. Very well. Follow me, Fox. Okay. Dad. Wait, and we, we have so much oh. to catch up on. And we found him. The big, big head honcho himself. The head. Monkey. God, seeing this in HG is just... You can see every freckle. Every freaking... Every. What are those What are those called? Dim Orc. Dimples? No, no, what... Are, the, are they dimples? No, the, it's like those little sunspots. There's a word for those. Oh, liver spots. Liver spots, yeah. Or those. I was gonna say age spots. That too. So... Oh. So okay. like the whole so like the whole instinct thing, only one of these walls is actually fake, as you can see here. So you can actually go right through. And then for this part, oh. I recommend sticking in the walker form, because it's a lot of close quarters fighting from here. Well you on kinda out. you kinda have to, considering the arena that you're in. So yeah, this is actually Andros's true form. A robotic monkey head. So is he ever allowed I should have dodged the right Is he ever has he ever really been alive? I've never really figured out how he goes from a living being to this. Ow. It's hard to say what the fuck's up with Andros. I mean I mean we have the original can... canon where he where he was basically just a cube inside of a metallic head, and then you got right. Star, Star Fox 64, which honestly that may as well just been nothing more than a freakish abomination or experiment gone wrong, and now he's just this giant head for all eternity. Yeah. You know what I get? I get the and feeling it's probably something akin to Clockwork, where it's like he self-inflicted all this onto himself. I can see that. Where like he wanted. I love the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I could see. I could. <laughs> Shush. But I I could see that where like to achieve some sort of uh, immortality, he would. Uh, there we go. To achieve some form of immortality, he would purposefully make himself like an AI tech thing. Shoot. Whoops. Ooh. It's so close. So, the strategy that I sort of deduced... By the way, I died like three times to this boss because I was trying to like figure this out on the fly. I'll take that. Every time you take out an arm... What run. screen are you paying attention to at this point? Okay, yeah. I, I go between all of them at this... I, I'm cycling between whatever... How about this? Whatever screen is on the TV, that's what I'm mainly focusing on. Well, let's just say that you definitely pulled a ballsy maneuver there. Just... Going through all that while in first person mode. Yeah, so let's go right back in. Oh, I hate this. Oh, don't face. give. Oh, don't give me that that psychology talk, Mister. Oh sh. Okay, nice. We're long. We're long past the. We're long past the days of animal instincts. Let's get back on. The it's like awesome. You something to think about. This may as well just be the futuristic the? version. Oh. Of, oh god! Oh god! Help me! Uh. Whoa. Uh. So be careful. It is possible for him to actually throw you right out a window. Yep. And you have to go <laughs> right back in to the old... You have to go right back in, like, after another laser phase. But, uh... I will say, this is actually a pretty intense final boss. Yeah. And, and this will... And this will, and this will test everything you've learned up to this point. Like, honestly, this is the kind of boss... This is the, honestly the boss that I would have would have rather had than what we've had, like, from the original game and, um... Assault. Two. Oh jeez, I do me out. Oh no. Oh, I, I mixed here. up my buttons. <laughs> don't don't go quitting on me now, Mister. Okay. <laughs> just dot. Honestly, I just stick to the bottom and just go up a little bit here, and you can pretty much dodge every laser. Hmm. I need some health. I need some health. Well, there's plenty of rings to uh, to uh, you sustain are. your needs. I need this ring. Only oh, rings right. will sustain me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy, easy. Don't mind the audio thingy there, just the cable. Um, so I mean, I could see this working on Switch if they maybe had like a button that like swap between the different views. Oh, oh I'll sell, to be fair, you already have that with the Wii U. That's just the minus button. Right. So just do that, but like only on one screen. So like, it would just be tricky to like. Mu the game requires multitasking at some points. Sort of. Dang it. Yeah. Again, like, there's plenty they would need to change if they decide to port this to the Switch. Oh, not even close. Oh, <laughs> not great. Even close. Are we going to have another Independence Day homage here? No, spoilers, but just... Yeah, my heart was kind of racing at this point. Like, please die. Time to, to get out. Time to get out. Time to get out. Come your boosters! I am! Oh, jeez. Oh, devil damn it. I missed Ooh. the ring. Okay, oh. now, I'm on, now I'm on the cannonball run now. 
Oh gosh. <laughs> you make sure, did you make sure to put on a helmet? Oh and oh and oh and bear in mind, even once you get to the final phase, if you die at any point, you gotta go right back to the beginning. Yes. Mm. Okay, I'll take well, some. Well, at least it's easier please. to tell how you get in. Ow. Ah. Oh, well. Okay, I'll take that. Not so much other? for that. Any other? Well, it's more. Uh, I'll take a gold ring. That's nice. Uh, I mean, if no, I mean, if nothing else, like, um, there is technically right. a way you can actually find the find it. the entrances without the need for the gamepad. Just look at the hollow spots. Yeah. I mean, they expect you to use the gamepad because it's easier, but at the same time, you're not completely shut out of luck. Oh yeah, whenever so, whenever he's doing sh oh stuff boy. like this, I usually just um, switch back to the R wing and like go like go pa go through the middle. Oh, he has one face in particular that I do that for, especially when he's clapping his hands. This I go for, to R wing because, uh, and once again, remember, it's always faster to you can always descend faster than most things. You can't usually ascend faster. So awesome trying for to this, I just, awesome for this, I just use this part. I just use the walker. Use really? The hover. Yeah, you just use the hover. Why do? You, oh, jeez, you. The things that I found easier out. Oh. The things I found easier with the walk. Whatever. There's a, each has his own way. Yeah. Please die. Okay. And once he's destroyed, you then need now, to very quickly go to the got, other side. There you go. Oh look, back it's so head. cute. Use bombs wisely. <laughs> yeah, I got one use, left. And you did use a bomb. Ah oh, no. And you wasted it. I didn't use that one yeah. wisely. <laughs> <laughs> you have chosen you have to pop that <laughs> I need a what? Uh, have I have you seen it, all those movies before, Celia, the Indiana Jones trilogy? No. Oh, I need a well, I need to show you those. How many of them have you seen? Just bits and pieces. Like never one full movie? No. I don't know. Not your, not, your cup, not your cup of tea. No, it just uh, it wasn't that. I just never had the opportunity. Ah. Okay, yeah, this this there. doesn't look awkward at all. Yeah, again, you can always descend faster than he can, so try and always dodge downwards. Okay. Alright, and I know what we're watching so, yeah. later. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in the same situation with Celia. I've never seen the whole world from game yet. Okay. The closest I've seen, Saz is to admit, is maybe Crystal Skull. Oh. Uh, Honestly, the one movie I've, I've seen for the most part is uh, the second one, which I know, which I know there. is kind of heresy. And there you go. Alright. And I'll be can get out of here. And obviously, how many of us have, how many of us haven't seen that one in this part of the first movie? Well, yeah, the classic. The yeah. bowler. The, the one that'll definitely give kids nightmares. Oh, yeah, the melting. Oh, come on. Yeah, we did it. You have to escape. Yay! Oh, oh this, by the this way. Part, this part's awesome. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hello, kids! So, you need Back to keep an eye cloud. on him. Where are you? So you need to keep an eye on him, and, uh, I, I, oh, by the way, I won't spoil it, but James, yes, yes, I do accomplish that. Good. I, 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 it was just by pure act, I was like, wait, I could... <gasps> I did but, exactly what my daddy told me, I trusted my instincts, and I'll say yeah, for now, to the just, better ending. But yeah, for now, but yeah, for now, but yeah, it just feels cooler to do. It is possible to miss oh. what I'm about to do. It is possible to miss what I'm about to do, but when you get it... I mean, they, they don't immediately tell you to do it. It's just that... I mean, I mean, as as Maddie says, trust your instincts, and, well, you've already known and, this game in and out by this point, so what do you do? So Andros gets distracted by him, which means... Do a new turn! And destroy him for good. There you go. Yay! That's, what That's you get the when way you, up right? the cloud does it. That's what you do when you let your guard down, which... God, just that is so awesome. The fact that Fox abandoned like leaving the nightmare dimension just to get that one last shot in. And good. we get the mission accomplished Yay. right. Good thing, good thing for your rear view mirror. If you do not shoot Andros, you'll only get a mission complete. But just yeah. That's, that said. That's what I call a Star Fox. Even though we couldn't see it. Uh. Wait. Wrong. Okay. Just like in 64. Just like in 64. Just, just had help from a very special friend. Which, I mean, you the other thing I... that... Go ahead. I was about to say, I would appreciate... It might happen, I don't know. I've never gone this far in the game. But I would love if they were able to replicate that one particular ending from 64. You know, the... What? <laughs> it had, like, nothing. I, for, I, for, I forget if they do that in this game or not. I don't, I think, don't, know. They, I don't think so. But they do remake pretty much oh, everything else from the 64 ending. 
Yep. Supervising director Mia Shigeru Motor. Miyamoto. Dang. Mi motor. <laughs> Mia Motor. We gotta get the Mia Motor started. Oh Jump it. Ha. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, but come just... on. That, that thing's been in high gear for 60 years. You gotta put him to rest sooner or later. But just... Yeah. This... Being the one, being the first of two, because I am gonna go back to, I will do command. But being the first of two Star Fox games I get to do for this channel, I I, I really love this game. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can. yeah. But just, it, I think they did a really good job of updating it for like modern like visuals and modern like storytelling with voice acting. Just yes, I do agree. The Reliance upon motion controls all the time and the double screen can be a lot to handle at once and especially the fact that I get that it's for immersion, but not giving you the option to turn off gamepad only voice acting really made this tricky definitely made it tricky for us to even record. If I can if I can actually forward that that comp that complaint real quick, I I think with a game like this, I don't think the uh game, Wii U gamepad did did its uh did its idea justice. Because how do you do gyro rival gy gyroscope with that thing especially with something that's a, that's very intensive well, like, especially that's, since that's you... something that's something you should really save for like the Wii remote or well, especially the, or in our case now the right joy con well yeah putting gyro controls on something that has a screen is tricky because you have to keep your eye on it while you're moving it around so you have to constantly be moving your head to keep a good view of what you're rotating and i think this would work better so with the yeah, joy cons screw yeah the 3DS. yeah and yeah. The, th the 3ds actually would be a very good one too Actually, yeah, I think this could work on 3DS, I think. Honestly, this game may as well have just been a 3DS tile, despite all how freaking nice it looks. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, what did you think of it all, Seely? Um, was it was improved. I can't talk. It <laughs> was an improvement compared to what I saw in our last commentary, seemingly. Oh, compared to what the salt. salt in 64. Oh, you mean with the salt? Yeah. That's it fair. Yeah. I I, th I just thought it was a nice return to form for some. Oh yeah, remember remember when all this used to just be a really bad looking uh, <laughs> pre rendered thing? It was just yeah. a po it was just a poster backdrop. No one even oh, here we go. We are forever in your debt. There's a place for you in the corner. Oh Pepper, you look so much cooler when you're not Sorry, melting Pepper. away in assault. I'm traumatized by that, honestly. You got your fluff back. Oh, oh. oh. Also, ooh. I love they keep that detail too. Yay. Oh, hey you. Star Fox, also, Devil Dan Falco is tall in this game. <laughs> oh, he's, all, he's dude, always been tall. He's always been tall. Well, I, I don't, I'm not. Well, my thing is that I don't remember him being like taller than like everyone else by that margin. Like I figured he'd just be like maybe an inch taller than Fox. But oh no no, he's always been that that, that tall. Boys, get boys, get the gravy and call Grandma down. The chicken is done. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I do. I do really like this change, change in detail. Like, I'm, like the original um, Star Fox and Star Fox 64 3D. Like, they pretty much had like the pilots just running through this th this desert. But for this game, they, really... change, they change it to the walkers now because that makes the more that makes better sense. I just had a really dumb idea. Uh -huh. Everyone's all everyone's everyone's all wanting a, a let everyone is wanting a Zelda game that takes place in like the techie future. I want a Wild West Star Fox game where they're like bounty hunters, cowboy <laughs> style. And maybe well, what like, they, the what would they be riding like on? a giant horse, cowboy, like you know, horses, and there's six shooter guns, and I don't know. I feel like that would be again, Star it's a Fox stupid at that idea. It would just be something else entirely. Old Fox. But I honestly wouldn't mind that. I'm honestly surprised no fans ever like tried to make like an AU of that. Oh, I honestly a dumber idea. I just realized a Star Fox in the prehistoric ages, where you're riding on <laughs> freaking pterodactyls. Star Fox comes in. Actually, it's a live. It's Star Wolf's like. Oh God, e a Star Fox. It's eleven. Oh, but okay. But we should we should actually get to the the very serious thing that we should t bring about this game is that uh, yeah. not only was this the coolest Star Fox game on the Wii U, you it was the only one. The only one. What's that for guard? But uh, Hiroshi Yamaguchi, of course, did the music and Yukari Suida. But this game does do it justice to give off one final salute. Come on, I, I know we have sound design, and I love the music, by the way, this rendition of the 64. Mm. Show it! Oh, keep your pants on. We'll see it in just a mm. moment, just as okay. soon as the music's done. But yeah, it was much needed, considering, again, it was a really, really sad time. And, well, they gotta give their dues. To our wingman who fell in battle. Salute! Aww.
this was the last game that this was the last game that he was working on at the time. Yep. And we've mentioned him a lot, but rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> shine on, shine on, Iwata. Yeah, Iwata. From <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. Star. You almost said Sakurai, didn't you? Yes, I did. Doesn't you mean, almost said Sakurai. how much that guy worked himself in the bone. But just, yeah, this was the last game that he worked on, and just, God, what a freaking legacy. Yeah, and yeah. what what do they follow that up with? Honestly, one of the most heart heart wrenching um, credits themes I've heard in a Nintendo game. Because well, yeah, I, I guess it's because yeah, the, the 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 tone to follow that uh, accreditation or that dedication. Sorry. Though it's also weird, because I also honestly find this a rather bittersweet track. Like, the first bit, I mean, none of it's really all that depressive or anything. It's just, it's it, 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 it would make too much sense if you were, like, part, part of a, um, well, a, a funeral for a soldier, I guess. Well, yeah, that's that's what they're doing. Is... And, then you, and then you get the more, and then you, then you get the more, um, slightly higher octane, but not quite, not to the point where it's still not somber bits at the very, like, second half of it. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, nah, we got a bit longer to this. Um, anything else that we meant? Anything else that we haven't already mentioned about Star Fox? Otherwise, I guess I'll move on to the other topic. I guess I could use this time to talk about. Well, I will say this much: we're actually not done with Star Fox Zero just yet. Right. Uh, there are still some goodies that, in free play mode or whatever, you could totally find. But um, uh, story mode is a bit unique in that um, all the alternate paths they stay unlocked. Unlike in sixty four, and you um, you can go about you can move about freely. It's not just one linear line. However, you have to unlock things at certain points. So, for instance, there is just like there was in the original, there is a bonus path in the first stage. But as opposed to following uh, Falco, you needed the Chicken Walker ability, which you didn't get until a later stage. So it was or or if you or if you unlock, unlocked it early during that boss fight. Oh yeah, that's right. So that, that is possible to do. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, there are going to be at least uh, three more parts where I will be showing off all of the additional content, bonus boss battles, a uh, couple few, couple of new stages. With one exception. With one exception. There is one stage that I will not be showing off because that and another stage are pretty much the exact same one except one is just a better version. Yeah, it, it, it's basically probably the worst example this game has, has with padding. Yeah, because it's just an escort mission. Anywho. But, uh, yeah, how about you, Hybe? Any other things you want to talk about? Um, I guess all I can really say about it is that, um, I don't know if I've ever gotten a chance to really go into uh, my experience with Zero, is that Zero, for me, it kind of shares that same distinction I have with ARMS, in that it's a game I really want to love, because just in terms of presentation and graphics, and, well, I guess graphics are a part of presentation, but just in terms of it looks like a great game. It has a lot of promise to it. I just think that the gameplay is kind of hard to ignore and kind of keeps me from loving it as much as I want to. And Platinum. Good old Platinum. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. this all started off as an Easter egg in Bayonetta 2. Really? Yeah. That's literally how this game came to be. <laughs> that was how they announced it? That's cool. Ye well, not not, not so much oh, this is one oh. steep bill, but it's worth it. <laughs> oh, so they, oh, they do keep Better it. Better be. And okay. I, you can just stamp the official Cornarian stamp whenever I realize, Psst, Dumbo, you're supposed to touch it. Oh, oh, yeah. right, right. Oh, right, stamp. got it. There you go. <laughs> Yay. Yay. We finally got our due. So with that <laughs> said, there will be more to come. But for now, thank you for joining the, what is not the finale of the impromptu <laughs> Star Fox Zero commentary. Thanks again, Jerk. <laughs> we, hey. I love you so much. Give me a kiss. Until uh, next time, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I just made that sound. <laughs> <laughs> and I made it too. Bye, bye. Too hot for James Mann's channel.